Good morning and welcome back to a chapter a day. I am nearing afternoon on my time, but I'm still making it within the day. So yay! And we are caught up. This is going to be the reading for chapter 10 of Genesis. So we have completed the other nine chapters. I had to double up on some days so that we can catch up so that when I actually <laughs> put my uh, videos on it is for that day a chapter a day and I'm trying to hold true to the title of my channel a chapter a day so I'm thinking I may not try doing that pre-record five six seven how many ever days in a row and then just post them on because I want to just do it the way I said that I would a chapter a day so Still, I have not seen any questions. I have seen one or two comments, and that's great. Thank you for the comments and the encouragement. Um, I will try to continue. I'm working on ideas as to how to improve on my um, video um, taping, my um, maybe put some things on the screen while I'm reading and maybe some other embellishments i'm not sure it's not about the aesthetics it's about the content and that's why i would like to hear from you if you have any comments or suggestions about the content okay so before we read genesis chapter 10 we're going to review genesis chapter 9 and in genesis chapter 9 noah and his sons have come out of the ark um with the animals, the water has subsided and he made a sacrifice to God in chapter eight. So now they are sort of getting their lives together. Okay, and um, God is telling him about the meats that they are supposed to eat and that the, the blood of the meat is not supposed to be eaten. Okay, you can eat the flesh, but not the blood. Um, I know some people like and make blood sausages. I always thought that might be a little uh, not so good. Tastes good maybe, but not so good for you otherwise. Um, about shedding blood, um, being fruitful and multiply again. We remember that he told that to um, earlier on in Genesis when he gave that same command to Adam and Eve and now his sons and uh, Noah are getting a promise from God. In fact, the whole earth, because God made the promise with Noah, but it is for the whole entire earth that it will no longer be um, destroyed by water. So he set his bow in the sky, and that's what the rainbow means. That's an indication that God has promised that the earth will not be destroyed by water again. That's the real meaning of the rainbow and the only meaning for the rainbow. Um, his sons, uh, he had an incident with his son, Ham, who uh, from what we have, we can make implications as to what actually happened because it's not explicitly stated that Noah, was planting he planted a vineyard he became a um, a, a, a husbandman and um, drank some of the grape <laughs> juice that maybe had stayed a little long in um, in the in the bottles or whatever he put them so it was wine enough to make him drunk and while he was drunk um, I'm not sure what took place but it said that Ham um, saw his father's nakedness now there's been so many different um, ideas as to what this could be. I will not try to stretch my imagination. Whatever it was, it was not supposed to be. And um, his two other sons, Shem and Japheth, tried to cover him over without even looking at him. And then when he came out of his drunken stupor, he realized what had taken place and he cursed Ham, who was also called Canaan, that he would be a servant of servants. I've also heard a lot of um, ah, stories about who Ham was and which uh, race of people has um, come out of Ham. God only knows, I don't know. Um, 
so that Noah is now 950 years whoa <laughs> that's old so now he has gotten that old and he's out of the ark let's go on with chapter 10 this is going to be a lot of names being read in chapter 10 i was thinking should i go ahead and read all these names because some of them or maybe all of them have nothing to do with anybody we know later on in the bible but for the sake of reading a chapter a day here goes genesis chapter 10. now these are the generations of the sons of noah shem ham and japheth and unto them were sons born after the flood the sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and jo Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Togamah. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Phut, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Sapta, and Rama and Saptaka. And the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erich and Akkad, and Kalneh, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Asher, and builded Nineveh, and the city Rehoboth, and Calah. And Resin, between Nineveh and Calah, the same is a great city. And Mizraim begat Ludim, and Anamim, and Lehamib, Le Lehabim, and Nephu, Naphtuhim, and Pathruzim, and Kaskluhim, out of whom came Philistim and Kaphtorim. And Canaan begat Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arbadite, and the Semonite, and Semorite, and the Hamathite. And afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zeboim, even unto Lasher. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the father of Japheth, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Aphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Getha, and Mash. And Aphaxad begat Salah, and Salah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan began Almadad, and Shilef, and Hazamaveth, and, and Jerah, and Hadaram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimael, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. And their dwelling was from Misha, as thou goest unto Sephar, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Thank you all for listening once again. I cannot vouch for some of the pronunciations of those names. So if you comment on the names and the pronunciations, hey. Hold me accountable, but there's nothing more I can do. I'm just pronouncing them as best I can in my English tongue. So with that said, I will see you again on our next reading. Thank you. Bye.